Oh my gosh, I'm gonna pass out and die. Up, 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 hurry before it does. Yeah, my torpor's going up. I might just pass out here. Okay, that was unexpected. I was hoping to be able to go down there and place the torch so we can actually see. We're gonna wait till the torpor goes down. So mine does. Let's do this. Watch me get attacked and killed up here now. Oh, and I passed out anyways. Hello guys and welcome back to ARK. It's been an exciting few days, weeks. Been a while as you can tell. For some reason it's a little bit laggy. And uh, I know with the last update a lot of people said that their frame rate literally cut in half. So I'm not sure why. But, yeah, so, anyways, me and the wife, we've been running around doing some stuff. We got this girl here. And we got this one here. And this is my beast. Uh, she's a little bit lower than a perfect team would have been, but uh, powerful nonetheless. And she's taken out... Uh, she took out, uh, Alpha T-Rex. Level 125, I believe. So, as you can see, I've got the Trike Bone Skin Helmet. And, uh, that was pretty cool. Um, Lady J got one also. She doesn't like it that much, so. I mean, she probably won't be wearing that one. But uh, we got these guys when we went out to the island, not Volcano Island, the little one off to the side, and uh, we were actually going for Argies and didn't get them. Now I've done some playing around on the modded server, I spawned in one of the new dinosaurs, tried the code to uh, make it so that they were feedable or they ate and uh, one little problem with that is they you can force feed them after you tame them but you cannot uh, just leave them they will not eat on their own so that's a little bit of an issue and uh, you also can't level them so whatever you tame them out at is all they will be and they are hard as hell to tame now this, I don't think I've shown this. Uh, this is a warehouse building that uh, me and Lady J started building. With a lot of grinding. Uh, we stopped here, but it is going to go up several more levels. And uh, we're going to have all our building stuff going on in here, or processing and all that. Um, I've got this down here for the dino parking. So I like these guys up here. Ooh, an egg. I'm going to leave that for now because I don't need that right now. And we got Missy here. Done a little bit of leveling with her. She is a total beast. But we're going to come up here because while we were grinding, who knows it, uh, I found something. And I've seen a lot with this map, but not everything. And... Uh, now what I'm going to show you today, I've actually seen in other people's videos before, so I knew about it. Uh, as you can see, we set up a lot of uh, these because we were smelting metal. We grinded a lot of metal. But, yeah, so when we picked this area, I picked it basically because this was where it seemed best. And uh, then I found out that up here, we have metal nodes, which worked out great, because then we have a continuous supply of metal without having to worry about it. And rain. It rained so much on this map. I mean, unbelievably. So, anyways... At one point I had mined all this 
And I was like, there's got to be more around here. I knew there was crystal down this way. And I found this. So one of the cool things up here. Check this out. Let's see. That right down there, it's like a footprint. Yeah. But anyway, so I was out here getting metal. And mining it. And I came across this. So, a little bit excited. I realized what this is, and I didn't know this was here. And I had been up here quite a few times before I even noticed it. So we're gonna take a trip down here. Yeah, it gets a little bit dark, but you can see the ground. Where? Wow. Okay. Oh, do I have... Uh oh I can't get my bird. Oh my gosh, I'm going to pass out and die. Up, 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 up. Hurry before it does. Yeah, my torpor's going up. I might just pass out here. Okay, that was unexpected. I was hoping to be able to go down there and place the torch so we can actually see. We're going to wait till the torpor goes down. So mine does. Let's do this. Watch me get attacked and killed up here now. Oh, and I passed out anyways. Alrighty, well, hopefully I'll be safe and I'll wake up soon. I don't see anything. Unbelievable. Alrighty. <laughs> so we'll be back when I wake up. And we're back. Alrighty. So that was interesting. Yeah. The bird seems to be uh, doing alright. Torpor's going down. Whew. Alright, let's get some food. In us. Uh, good thing I didn't die there because I didn't want to lose my trike skit and my trike helmet. All right, let's go down again. This time we're gonna do it a little more safely. I'm not gonna land. Where is the? There it is. All right, a little hard to see down there, uh, but uh, once you find this. It's pretty easy going. So as you can see, there is a walkway all the way through here, and a lot of bad stuff. Um, dung beetles, which we are gonna have to get some of, because we are gonna start building a greenhouse and uh, start getting some crops growing. Out on the server, the crop speed, growing speed, is turned up a little bit, and the uh, uh, whatchamacallit, the decay, crop decay speed, is set really low, so they'll last a while, because they, yeah, they spoil ridiculously fast by default, but look at this, a little bit of framey issue down here, ooh, Level 130. Yes, so that's what we need. Oh, what are you? 95. No big deal. This is an underground cave. Got its own sun and everything. We got the mist going on up here. This is just absolutely beautiful. So, I think. I am going to actually build a base down here. Oh, what are you? Level 20. Hmm. Yeah, you ain't no good. Alright, we need to remember that waterfall. Let's 
straight across from here. I don't want to get lost down here. Because I honestly don't know the way out. And I found this and I came down here. I almost got lost trying to find my way out. But I don't see anything back down here. I mean... Oh, there is a Dillo. But you have pteranodons down here. All kinds of things. Alright, so that way. This looks like a cave over here. Let's see if we can get out. Now you do have the mantis in the water. Oh, there is a T-Rex. So, oh my god, and a massive pack of raptors. I wonder if Artie's actually spawned down here. Level 80 T-Rex. Wow, there are some bad things. I didn't think I, that there were any bad things down here. And there's Carnos. Oh, there's a Dodicarus. I so need a Dodicarus. And Ankleos. Wow. I didn't think any of this down was down here. With the, oh, this is perfect. Perfect building area. Oh, he hit me there. And this looks like something? Nothing? Let's see where this takes us. bumping into stuff all right so let's see where this goes taking a while to get out and keeps looking like a, we're reaching the end of it and we don't okay I know where this goes I believe yeah we can't get out here because that you have to go through the water Alrighty, so we're gonna go back. So this one, you'll have to go through the water to get back through. It's very deceiving. Oh, there we go. Well, hard to see too. Uh oh, that was kind of a high level scorpion too. Uh oh, whew, a little scary. <laughs> Don't want to get stuck in here. Yeah, I guess if I die in here, I'm done with it. I can't come back and get my stuff, I don't believe. I don't know if I could ever find it again, but we do have metal down here and crystal. I don't see any obsidian. Hmm. Let's see what else we've got. What is that running? Alrighty, so. Uh, yeah, so. I got some plans on maybe building a base. Look, a rock bronto. I was thinking it'd be a perfect peaceful base, but I guess things do spawn. Whoops. As long as nothing comes and eats me, we're good. Just beautiful. Yeah. 
right, so maybe we could do a small base down here or a big base, but plenty of wood. We've got stone. Um, it's not like in large clusters, but we've got all these nice flat areas. Oh, quite a bit of metal. So it looks like all the metals around the edges. So maybe a couple of us could get a uh, couple dinos out here and build a couple of houses out here. What was that? Oh. So the only thing that I'm not seeing is obsidian so far. And there probably really is obsidian down here, just not sure as to where. So I wonder if crops grow down here too. Hmm. Okay, so I need to find my way out, which I believe it's right there. Alrighty. So, looks like a very nice area. We would have to mark this to show where the exit is. Like I said, in the water I knew there were mantas. Apparently other stuff. I don't know what hit us. Oh, probably the Bronto. It's hard to tell. But we know that there are mantas. So, anyways, so I'm going to head up on out of here and we're going to figure out what else we're going to do. I just wanted to show that and we'll be right back. Alrighty guys, well, we're back up top or down. Not really sure, I know that goes down a long way, so obviously it goes down underneath here. So over in that area is where the is. I should have looked on the map where I was when I was checking it out. Um, the place where we went up the first time, actually I believe that brings us out by Drew's base, I believe. I'm not really sure, but uh, I think that's where it does bring us out. And there's a water hole there that you have to go down and then back up through to get to it. But, uh, yeah. So, we took this barge over here and we went to the Skull Island and did some grinding. We got a whole bunch of obsidian. Uh, oh, this is just building stuff. We got a whole bunch of obsidian and metal. And got that taken care of. So we shouldn't need obsidian for a while. Because we brought back a little over a large uh, storage chest full. To uh, yeah, stock up on it once and not have to worry about it. Because we didn't really want to have to go back and forth. And that's the only thing that we don't really have around here. And now seeing as though we don't have it down underground. Most likely it's going to be a once in a while thing. We'll have to go get some of it but anyway so I've been coming up here and rubbing these uh, beaver dams and for some reason they have not respawned so I'm not sure how that works and I'm not seeing beavers here now the beavers, I didn't kill them. They just, they chased me down this way. And over here. That was the last I saw of them. So I'm not sure what happened to the beavers. I thought they respawned. 
I know once you get them out of their area for too long, they will eventually despawn. But I didn't know that they would just completely not respawn back there. So I'm not really sure about that. We're going to have to figure that out. Um, and I don't know how the mechanics work on them regenerating or respawning stuff inside them either. So maybe we'll, those respawn, we'll have to play with that a little bit. Check it out and see what we can come up with. Don't see nothing over here. Ooh, a drop. Now, I don't really have a lot planned for this episode. I wanted to take a look around down there, but I didn't want to do it off camera. So, that was pretty much what I had planned. And now that's done. I'm not really sure what to do. Parasaur saddle. Yay. The blueprint for a parasaur saddle I can already make. Here's another one. This one's a white one, so most likely he's going to have a few minor building materials, and that's about it. But we'll go ahead and grab it while we're here. Ooh, yay. Stone tools. Oh. Alright, looks like it's getting dark on us, and, uh, so I'm going to call it good at that. This will be a little bit shorter video. I'm hoping to not have to edit much on it. It's kind of been a long, rough day, and I kind of just want to get something posted. But that's what I wanted to show everybody. It's that cave, and uh, hopefully I can get Lady J to go down in there with me, because she's... <laughs> frankly, she's afraid of it. So... Hopefully we can get her down there. Look at the way this is loading. I don't know why it's it's been loading like that since it, the update. I've never seen that before and now suddenly it's like all of a sudden part of my house has a hard time loading. But anyways, so we're going to call it good at that and uh, say thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye bye.